It is Wednesday morning. I just thought I'd start straight into another vlog. Today I'm dyeing yarn. Um, I'd maybe like to talk to you about some of my knitting plans. Hopefully I'll get to do that this afternoon. But right now I'm going to have some breakfast and I'm going to have a wee cup of tea or a big cup of tea. <laughs> and um, that's where we're at today. Yesterday I did a lot of admin work and filed a lot of paperwork as well as doing some dying. So we got on really well yesterday. I'm just trying to get things ready for my Fernie Corner shawl lunch. Um, the pattern layout is almost complete. I just have to do one more page. And um, the testers are almost all finished. They're the deadline's the 10th of February, so still plenty of time for them. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, so yesterday I was making up kits in different colours and it just felt very satisfying to think that I made the pattern that goes with the kits as well. So today I actually need to figure out how I can sell or if I can sell a digital pattern along with yarn. I haven't sold any digital products before on my website so that's something I need to figure out actually. And is that everything? I think maybe it is actually. Um, so I'll take you along with me. I'm just about to run to the sorting office with these couple of orders and then I'm going to run to my knitting because I would like to gauge watch for a Pip and Stock Beret uh, which is a, another pattern by Albina McLaughlin. She came to visit me one day and I was like I love your beret. What is that your obviously it was her pattern but I wasn't sure which one it was and then she when she went home she sent it to me and I was just like, yes, I have to knit this and I know the exact right yarn. Um, I have a new yarn coming to the shop later this year, I think probably March or April. It's a limited edition woolen spun blend of Swart Blues and Blue Texel. And it's four ply, but I'm going to hold it double or maybe even triple. Um, so I'm going to get shorts for that now, see where we're at and then maybe even get it cast on. It's really, it looked, I tried on her beret that she was wearing I was like yes I think this actually suits me <laughs> first time in my life I've ever worn a beret so I think it should be pretty cool looking just sitting down now I hardly ever get a chance during the day to knit so this is a real novelty to me but it's also kind of part of my work so all right my needles that I need are not in the case <laughs> How often do you go to your needle case and the needles you need aren't there? So I'm looking for a four. A four. We'll start with a four and see how the gauge is with the four. I have not knitted a hat in the longest time. So this will be pretty interesting. This is not like a normal hat. This is a beret. So I think it'll be pretty fun to knit. Um, I could do with a few more hats in my, there's a four. I could do with a few more hats in my, another four, yay. In my repertoire, I really only have one, one at the moment. Um, now I need a long cable, which I probably don't have. So 
so yeah I mean I don't have too many hats and I do I think if I had more hats I would wear them more and um, I'll just show you my this is the yarn I was talking about there another Northern Irish yarn it's uh Swarbles and Blue Texel is in focus this room that I'm in right now is north facing. I would say in real life this looks like a little bit browner. It's a very wearable colour. Anyway, this is my cotton age vest. I'm getting on really well with it. Um, it is in my hearth sock held double. And yeah, I think I told you in the last one I made a huge mistake and I had to rip it all out. So pretty pleased with how we're going at the minute. We are, we, I'm, when I say we, I'm in me. Um, I'm doing the minimalist collar. I'm doing the A-line bodice and I'm doing, I think the split hem. I think I might do a split hem. So I've got quite a few like rounds of knitting to go. I have no idea how many, but I mean, on average, I'm like about two inches shorter in almost every pattern you know, in every garment that I knit. So maybe not as long as I think. I cast on a blanket as well. Um, there's a lot of babies coming this year. So I decided that I'd start into making a few presents. This is where I'm at so far. I'm using up uh, my Let Lobby. I wanted to buy like a couple of extra colours um, but honestly I cannot find this yarn in stock anywhere in the UK and the colours I want I was wanting the Mimosa colourway and the Lagoon colourway cannot find them anywhere so I'm just going to have to use up what I have which is not that much but I think it will finish this blanket so I'll get another two to four rows out of this colour I've got almost two full ones of the white, so we'll try and pat it out with the white. I've got an almost full one of this colour. I'd say I'll get a row out of one to two rows out of this colour and one row out of this colour. So I'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I could get another like 15 rows. I mean, that would definitely finish the blanket right now. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I'm literally using up every scrap. So I thought I'd have enough of um, the red to finish the row, but I didn't. So I just continued in this um, really nice rust colour. So it's quite a wide blanket. But I think for a car seat, it's nice to double it up or a pram and just like put that over. And then afterwards, of course, you can just put it over your own knees and that's quite cozy. So please with how that's going. And honestly, like crochet works up so fast. Like it's amazing. A bit sad, sad about my limited colors, but what can you do? You just have to work with what you have. Um, I have another blanket planned. It is using up some of the yarn I had left over from this, along with some local yarns that I got in the Lake District last year and the year before. Actually, it was like this time last year, or no, maybe it was two years ago, I can't remember. So I have that as well to start on after finish this, because I'm actually really, really enjoying the crochet. So. That's quite nice. I'm not a very proficient crocheter. I can only, I can only do, I can do, well, I used to be able to do granny squares, but I don't even think I can do them anymore. Um, I can just do the striped blanket, but I'm really enjoying that actually. And I'm just nice and super cozy. And you know what I'm thinking as well. I made one of those blankets for my little girl. So if ever, I want it, you know, to extend it um, when she moves into her own bed or something and put it over the end of the bed. I could just start crocheting um, 
This is Rufus, by the way, if you haven't noticed him until now. He's been sitting beside me the whole time. My Bedlington Whippet Boy. What age are you, Rufus? You're five this year. Are you five? Yeah. So, yeah, I could always just add to that, couldn't I? Because I didn't put a border and not, so that would be really nice, I think. You could just add a few rows every year. And then they would have a nice blanket to take with them whenever they leave home or whatever. So it's quite a nice idea. I'm thinking the vests for the spring are going to be really wearable and just really nice, like a nice layer in piece. I have two of different tops that will match this blue one, but I've got two particularly nice merino wool under kind of layers, I think in the spring with this over the top will be so nice. Um, and this blue goes really nicely with this brown, I think as well. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional, intentional about what I knit and how it fits into my wardrobe. I mean, yeah, I tried kind of to do a capsule wardrobe, but it's a very kind of loose capsule wardrobe because, because it just is, that's just the way it is. And I have a slightly more eclectic taste maybe than other people who do that type of thing. Is it time for an increase? Nope, not yet. Um, so I have a few, you know the way people when they do capsule wardrobes it's like they make sure everything goes with everything. Um, which is easy but it's also to me it's kind of boring. <laughs> like it would make life easy but then so when I started my capsule wardrobe, I pinned down the colours I really liked and I was like, right, I'm going to stick to them. And then after a while, I was like, I need blue in my wardrobe. Like, I don't have enough blue. It was all like autumn colours, which I really, really love. Um, but yeah, I think I need to have more blues. Um, not more navies, just more like mid-tone blues, like brighter blues. I really like that. And I think they usually go really well with all colours, like blue and yellow goes really nicely, blue and brown goes really nicely, blue and rust goes really nicely, they're complementary opposites. And probably for all that, to have my hat in the neutral colour, I think it'll look really good. So I've now chatted for nine minutes about nothing in particular, and I haven't started my gay shorts, so <laughs> I'm going to go for now. And... Um, I might switch on a little YouTube video for half an hour and make some progress on my gauge watch and on my cotton edge vest here. And I'm definitely, definitely going to show you when I stick it. Just back in from badminton. Don't think I won any games tonight. I'm working on my stock and pip berry. And Rufus is lunging in front of the fire. You hear it cracking, it's quite loud.
canvas. <laughs> Gonna show you some yarn that I wound up yesterday. It looks so good. It's a new base that I have come to the shop. It's the base that I'm knitting my stock and pip berry in. Hi, my fits. It's just, where are you? <laughs> um, I'll show you a wee close up. It is a mixture of swart blues and blue textile. Well, maybe I've already said this in this vlog. I can't remember. I'll show you anyhow. I want to show you my new cast on and it is the stock in Pip Beret by Albina McLaughlin and I've done quite a lot on this. I worked quite a lot on it last night actually. It's actually quite an addictive knit to be honest um, and I'm using my new yarn, my Swart Blues Blue Texel 4 ply held double. It's creating a really nice fabric and I think it's going to be so nice to wear. So I think it's going to be good, huh? What do you think? Um, I'm getting on really well with my vest too. And I put another few rows onto my blanket. Although I think tonight is possibly a badminton night. So I might not get that much more done. So we'll see.
Monday, it's the last day of the vlog and I just wanted to do a little clip to finish off and I want to show you my stop and put berry which I finished and it is currently blocking on a plate. Um, um, I had set it, the plate, on a glass so that it could dry, the room could dry. It's not dry yet so I can't take it off and show you but watch out in the next one I'll be wearing it. Um, turned out really well, it was a really addictive knit and um, I'm so pleased with how it turned out so um, it was a really fun pattern. I will definitely consider knitting another one. So um, what happened in the vlog there? Yeah so this is the new yarn that's coming out next month or the month after. So I just wanted to test it out, that's why I knitted this. Um, the Fernet Corner Shawl is coming out on the 17th of February. I'll have yarn kits, I'll put some photos here at the end of the different colours. And what else happened? Oh, went to the beach. Uh, that was really nice. It's quite windy, but it was like a, a really nice day. And we played with the pebbles for a long time. And it all ended up with... Um, um, my little girl like running towards the sea a lot so I had to just um then we kind of had to finish that <laughs> um then what else happened in the vlog I think that was really it just a lot of knitting in this vlog a lot of chat so I really hope you enjoyed that gonna be doing another um vlog next week i think before my pattern release just kind of on the lead up to it and um a few things still to figure out with that but so far so good um i'm about to start the hem i think on my cotton edge vest so the stick might happen next week so stay tuned for that and what else is happening this week um, I got new pots for the dye studio. Well, not, yeah, they are new pots, but um, I'll be using them along with my old pots, so you might see a bit of that next week. And I think that's all that's happening with me at the moment. So I um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. I never say this, but I'm going to say it. If you, what is it they all say? If you like it, click the heart button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm not going to say that again. Anyway. Okay. See you next time. Bye.